This is a uh, Magnavox preamp tuner, and it's an accompanying mono tube amplifier that I took out of a cabinet. I bought the setup from uh, a lady in an upstairs apartment for uh, $20. I did sell the cabinet locally for $25 on Craigslist. And now this uh, working amplifier tuner setup sold for $190 and it's going to Japan via the global shipping program. This is the uh, woofer speaker out of those pioneers that I've been uh, selling quite a few parts out of lately. And uh, this one sold for $100. Again, I got these for free just sitting on the side of the curb. I like to attach this uh, piece of cardboard protects the paper cone and then I cover it with this uh, this great uh, material that I find at the Ford dealer. They bring it out in big sheets. I just roll it up, cut it up and uh, it comes in very handy for packing well speakers, amplifiers, anything that's uh, fairly fragile. You can wrap it right up in it and uh, then if you line the box with styrofoam you've got a pretty good secure uh, shipping box. This is another uh, digital TV converter, brand new in the box. I got two of these Apex at an auction for uh, 250 for both of them actually. It was in a box lot and at the end of the uh, run of that table nobody wanted these and they grouped them together with some other stuff and I got them for $2.50. This is the second one of those to sell and it sold for $25. This is uh, one of those Casio tones, small keyboards. I always like to do a little video of the uh, functionality of these. And uh, it doesn't take too long to sell. This one took a couple of months though. It was just $2.50 at the uh, local auction. Originally at Kmart, it was $160. And I sold it for $60. Another desk lamp has sold. This is an older one obtained at the auction for the opening bid of $2.50. It's a radionics with a uh, fluorescent tube bulb in it, working in pretty good shape. It's got that uh, brown crinkly finish, no scratches or dents on it. Maybe I should have sold it for more, but I did get uh, $40 for it in about two weeks. This uh, pair of garden gnomes I've had for a couple of years. I got them free when I bought some shelving uh, from some guys. Came in a box along with a bunch of other stuff. And uh, I had them up for $50, or what, 50, 40 or $50. And finally took a half price offer of $25 for them. I didn't think they'd take this long to sell, but they did. Another boring old speaker sold. This is again off those Pioneers that I found on the curb. This one uh, is the mid-range. It actually has a little bit of damage to the uh, paper cone, but it's still sold for uh, $80. This is a uh, vintage hat stretcher. It has this little handle in the middle to uh, spread out the uh, your hat band. And this one is marked uh, 6 and 7 eighths, which would be the minimum uh, hat size. And... Uh, this I found in a uh, box lot along with some uh, wooden pipe tobacco uh, humidors and a little pipe rack. I wasn't sure what this was. I had to look it up and do a little research, but uh, I'm glad I did. It sold for $40. This is a 1970 Pioneer receiver amplifier operating instruction manual in the original brochure. A salesman probably wrote the price on there and uh, I don't have any money into this came along with a bunch of other uh, stereo equipment that I bought and this sold for $30 this is an old Panasonic Harbor Master it's a five band uh, transistor radio this was uh, sitting on the floor of my old kitchen sort of lost in the melee I had plugged it in, tested it out, and then forgot about it. And when I moved, 
or while I was moving, I uh, cleaned it up and uh, put it up for sale and it just sold for $60. I probably only paid a couple dollars. Probably came in an auction lot, if I remember correctly. This uh, folding bed tray, it's made of bamboo and rattan, was uh, just floating around in my uh, unlisted inventory for probably over a year. And I put it up yesterday and it sold right away for $30. Another lot of 10 used Maxell cassette tapes sold. Again, these are uh, pre-recorded with a little jazz music on them from the uh, 70s. I acquired all these tapes in uh, one big lot for about $2. And I've been selling them off. I've got them priced at uh, $80 for 10. And uh, I've been taking offers over 50. And uh, this is a repeat buyer. Bought another 10 of these cassettes for $52. Going to Canada. This is a garage sale find. A CADCO All-Star Baseball game from the 70s. And uh, it's complete. It looks like it wasn't even played or wasn't uh, played very much. And I had this up for $60 and took an offer of uh, 50 for it. Paid $2 at a garage. This is a vintage General Electric uh, clock shaped like a cutting board. It's made of plastic. It's meant for your kitchen. Remember when kitchens used to have a, uh, a little outlet, AC outlet, over the uh, like over the entryway or something you just plug your clock in and then cover up the uh, outlet with the clock my old house had that my new house doesn't I've got two of these breadboard clocks and so they're for sale for just uh, $15 both of them were just picked up at uh, the auction in a box lot this is the uh, second Heath kit digital clock kit to uh, sell that I bought uh, on Craigslist in Omaha, which is three hours away from me. He was selling them for $25 a piece. He opened this one just to check the contents. And uh, the first one I've already sold for $250. That one was sealed. And this one I decided to sell for $250 as well. And... Uh, it took a little bit longer, but it's now going to Chantilly, Virginia for $250. This is a DDR recorder VCR combo. I picked this up at a garage sale just a couple of weeks ago. Somebody was uh, trying to raise some money quick and uh, they didn't have prices on anything. And uh, so I said, how much for this uh, recorder? Does it work? And all the questions necessary. And he assured me it worked, and uh, after testing, I found out it did work. And he only wanted $10 for it. Well, I'm always looking to uh, get things even cheaper, but 10 bucks is pretty cheap. I sold it for 200 But uh, on the table next to it was an old photo album. It was a 1980s uh, photo album, but inside was a collection of pictures from the 30s and 40s. And I said, how about you throw that in? And he agreed, so I've got to get that photo album up for sale yet. But this uh, LG DVD recorder VCR combo sold for $200. Another piece off the Hammond M3 organ. This is the uh, percussion tablet switch, switches. And what they call a cheek board, just off to the side of the main keyboard. Uh, wasn't too difficult to take off the organ, and it sold for $30. Three more uh, reel tapes sold. These are uh, new. Uh, two of them are still in the cellophane, although kind of loosely in the cellophane. And the other one's been unwrapped, but uh, still unused. And uh, this is from my large stock of tapes that I have that I've picked up pretty much cost free when I bought a bunch of stereo equipment and these three together sold for $40. This is a bumper sticker from uh, the Black Hills of South Dakota, Vacation Land. This is a vintage one. It was uh, found at a, an estate sale. They had a table full of uh, vintage bumper stickers and I 
picked about uh, eight or nine of them. They were just 50 cents a piece. And this particular one sold for $15. This is a pair of coral speakers, vintage speakers. Used to be a pretty well-known name. And uh, I picked these up at a garage sale last summer for about five bucks. They just wanted to get rid of them. They're in pretty good shape. I pulled the grills off and the speaker surrounds are in good shape, which is very important. And uh, these finally sold for $130. Now I get the uh, pleasure of packing these. I sure like packing just the speaker parts. That's so much easier.